what's this? A Evercade Fun for Five that's actually a Fun for Five? Let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. It's actually a Fun for Five because we're going to Alma's Awakening and Cathedral. We're going to play this card, this nice, new, shiny artwork. We're going to check it out because there's only two games in here. And you know what? We can play two games for five minutes and still get it in here with the fun for five. Me also realizing that tomorrow is going to be a hugely busy day at work. You know what? I just went back to back with it. I finished my INTV vid and I'm like, you know what? Boom, hit and, hit and record on this one. Let's jump in to Always Awakening and Cathedral. I've been actually looking forward to this one for a while. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to be look, looking forward to. I have no idea what I'm going to find when I jump in. I know that they're meaty games. I know that there are two of them. And I know that Cathedral is actually not a emulated game. It is, is specifically made for the Evercade. I'm excited. So let's jump in. Let's go. All right, cool. So we've got Alma's Awakening, and we have Cathedral. Two games. Um, jumping it right in, and I'm, you know what? We're just going to play some. Um, Alma's Awakening, 2022 Adventure. Let's go. Um, what do we got here? Alma's Awakening is a platform adventure for one player. As Zoe, you explore the land of Alwa, traverse dungeons, dangerous dungeons, and meet interesting and fun characters along the way through this huge world. Use your magic staff to proceed through over 400 unique rooms. Wow. Previously released as a modern game was simply represented in a retro style, but the version here has been rebuilt on the Evercade and remastered for the classic 8-bit system. Um, the original was with the original release paid homage to. Sweet. We accept no responsibility if playing Almost Awakening until you pass out causes you to make up in another dimension. That's awesome. That's what cool Katie says. All right, cool. Let's check out the controls. Control, change magic, jump, cast magic, or attack, and then inventory. Pretty basic. All right. I'm going to mess it up, though, because that's that's what I do. Elden Pixels. Evercade. That's cool. That's neat. Do, do, do. This is the this is the music from the uh, the trailer, of course. Do, do, do. All right, I'm just gonna hit start. New adventure. All right. Ooh, the little story. All right. Yes, lush, peaceful lands, lush forests. Let's go. Oh. Hello. Wake up, Zoe. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. All right, got to get in the tower, get the magic staff, get out. But there are dangerous foes. All right, jumping around. I like the effects, the little like wind effects, the ominous music. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with that skeleton. I'm just out of here with the skeleton. Ooh, the staff. All right, when you hold it, you can feel something really special. Uh, yeah. Destroy certain walls. All right. I guess we have to go down here. Uh, can we destroy this wall? We can. Nice. All right, cool. We can fall without dying. That's cool. I like that. I like not getting penalized for, uh, for that. And that soundtrack's awesome. Whoa. All right, so we got infinite spawn, it looks like. You can just go back here and just whack some guys. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but. All right, got the long jumpy kind of thing going on. Can we, uh, can we, can we do this? No. 
We can we can fall and attack, but we can't attack while on the thing. Good to know. Good to know. Can we do a duck attack? I guess so. Splat. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Looking looking really neat. Like the colors, like the the aesthetic here. Like those little blocky guys preventing you from jumping into them. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's go up here. I just keep going up because you never know. I don't know what. I think you're supposed to be able to like double jump or something, maybe. Because I don't think we're making this. Yeah, no. Not without a double jump. All right, so we'll just keep going across now. We. Oh! I got hit, but that's okay. So, you only lost one little thingy. Oh, these are gonna be difficult. Oh, they fall. Uh, we got some Mega Man up in here. I don't know about that. I don't like those precision jumps. I'm bad at them. I'm bad at them. Oh, I don't know what this is. I think I'm gonna. I am supposed to get up there. I don't know. I'm gonna. Ooh, can I jump? I don't know. I think I'm gonna. This is gonna be bad. Oh! Oh, can he go up? Yeah, you can. You're still not getting that thing. I want it, but I don't think you're getting it. All right. Oh, oh no! I forgot the. Oh! I forgot. I forgot. All right. All right. So we start when you continue. We start with the the thing. Let's just go. Uh, let's go right this time. Anytime we can go right, let's go right. Ooh. Apparently, Sonic wants to go right. Or Mario. Mario coin sound. Can't remember which one was on my phone. Ooh, Amber Sakelli. Ooh, what's this? Go and light the flame in the center of this room. Doing so will let you start. From here. Oh, sweet. So I probably should have gone right so I could just be here instead. Alright. I wonder if there's more of those. Can I can I jump through here? No. I I don't think we can go that way. Alright, well, I uh I got that one. Now we're back in the Forsaken Valley again. Alright. So I guess we had to go up, but maybe we can go right after we go up. Splat this thing. I can uh, already tell that there's going to be some massive amount of exploration and and goodness here. So lots of lots of stuff to dig into. Um, very cool. Everything else though, feeling good, looking good, sounding good. Um, solid, solid experience so far. Ooh, what's this? Oh, come on. Why is everything just out of reach? I know I have to get a power and get a, like a double jump or something or whatever, but like, come on, man, okay, give me something. Hook, hook a, hook a dude up. Oh, yeah. How about that? Oh no. Wow. It's like Vivi. It's angry, angry Vivi. Uh, okay. Let's go down here. Oh, that's the thing where I got the thing. Running around in circles, Rich. What are you doing? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way down here, and I'm just going to make my way through again. Does that even respawn? Yeah, it sure does. All right. That's interesting. All right. So there's clearly something you have to find. There's something else you have to do. I haven't figured that out yet. But here I am at the at the fire again. And you know what? That's going to wrap it for Alma's Awakening. Did I give it the the pick? Uh, is, is there fun? Is there fun found? I'm going to keep you in some suspense as we move on to the next game. Which is Cathedral. Uh, that's, and people have been talking about this thing. They've been going nuts about it all over the internet and, you know, like in groups and talking to Ed and everybody's like, ah, oh, Cathedral. I'm like, all right, well, all right, let's go. 
Uh, Cathedral is a platform adventure game for one player featuring large interconnected 2D worlds, hundreds of unique rooms to explore, find items and upgrades and progress through two, 12 huge areas and seek out the five elemental orbs to complete your quest. Watch out, though the garden, the, though their guardians won't let you, them go without a fight. All right, cool. So are you just like, are you like stealing the stuff from them? You're like, give me it. And they're like, no, I don't, that's mine. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Cathedral was a five-year labor of love for Swedish developer Decemberborn Interactive. It pays homage to classic 8-bit titles while featuring modern aspects which wouldn't have been possible on vintage hardware. Cool. Katie actually has a tip, looks like. Check them out frequently, look closely, and if you zoom in, you might be able to spot some secret passages to rooms you haven't been able to reach yet. That is a cool tip, Katie. Thanks. Um, that is a lot of stuff heals and dashes and inventories and change weapon and summon soul i don't know what that means secondary item sword block jump Whew. all right that is a thing let's go Ooh. it's like a like a long load time whoa all right it's pretty cool Doo -doo -doo -doo. Also from the trailer thing, yeah. All right, let's go. Oh. It was very uh, Mega Man soundy. All right. You want me to enter a name? I'm always gonna give you. I'm always gonna give you a link because that's what I do. I don't know why I just do. It. Link, let's go. Wow, he even spawns like Mega Man. <laughs> wow. All right, jumpy, 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 jumpy. Can I? All right. Can I fall through here? Whoa. All right. Wow, that's all right. Very ominous. Get out. Find a way out. Okay. Very cool. You're like little little quest mission-y guys. Whoa. Alright. You get all sorts of cool stuff. Okay. Supposed to go up this way. All right. Maybe what if we go this way? Whoa. Nice. And this soundtrack is radical. Very cool. Man, these things are just like full of stuff. Just like, give me it. Loot fest. Man, the soundtrack is awesome. I love it. A good 8 bit. Give me a good 8 bit soundtrack any day of the week. Back. No, come back. Give me the stuff. I want the stuff.
And you keep going up this way. To nothing, I guess? Maybe there's something else you can do, like if you get a double jump or something like that. Wow, look at all that stuff! Give me that! Whee! Whoa, that's creepy. Ow! Don't do that. Ha! Uh, give me that stuff. <clears throat> very cool, very cool. Wow. I don't know what that is, but... Oh, no! <clears throat> oh, man! Can I hit those things? Yeah, I can. Get out of here. Whoa, what's this? Armor augmentation. 1% chance to avoid damage when get hit. More augmentations will stack. Sweet. Alright. So we got a thing. We got to the point where we got a thing. Clearly there is more, much more, to this game. But how did I feel about any of this stuff? Well, it's time for the wrap-up. So let's, like, take this cool music... And get to it. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Um, so uh yeah. Alma's Awakening Cathedral. Did I uh did I find some fun here? I don't know. I, I mean it's gonna be rough. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Wow, that was awesome. That was really, really cool. I'm very, very impressed. Both games. Both games. Um, I gotta be honest. I, I'm, I'm almost more intrigued about almost right now than I am with Cathedral. I really want to dig into Cathedral because it looks like it's a, just a fun time romp fest. Give me all the loot, like let's go get like you know cool little find little things to improve your thing by a couple percent or whatever. Let's go. All right, I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, in fact, actually, before I forget, um, I've got to. Uh, uh, oh no, yeah, this is right. Can't, there's no, uh, there's no what you call it things, options. There's no, uh, I don't know. Did, did it automatically save when I got that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happens. What happens if I quit? I don't know. Maybe I just started over. Don't know. I picked up the armor. Maybe it's just. Maybe I don't have the armor anymore. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that was cathedral. That was pretty cool. But again, uh, with almost, I'm again, I'm almost more intrigued by it because I don't I just. Like like the way it felt a little more than Cathedral, um, just a personal thing. Like in, in Cathedral, you're like weird, jumpy, floaty, um, and it almost it feels the jumping feels a little bit more um, kind of like whatever my speed is, you know, like if that is a thing. Um, but who knows? Maybe I get used to Cathedral and it just overtakes, and it's like, oh man, Cathedral is so awesome. I'll tell you that soundtrack though. I'm in. I'm in all the way. Um, I like the cool little like you know like nods to sound effects from Mega Man and all that kind of stuff and it's cool I like it I you know um, but yeah I think I'm gonna be playing some almost um, you know uh, first uh, just to just to kind of check it out and see what's going on um, but yes of course the fun was sound you know like I, obviously the, the the reputations of both of these games really kind of preceded it with a lot of members of the Evercast. Uh, you know, Crow had both games from Limited Run or something like that. I think so did so did Pete. They did both played played some. I think uh, even Ed played Cathedral a little bit on Steam or something like that before we got the carts. And then of course he's been just boom Cathedral all the way um, as soon as he got that. So glad to have played it. Uh, glad to have checked it out. Um, and uh, you know, glad to have shared it with you. Um, so what do you guys think? Have you guys gotten into Almas and Cathedral yet? Let me know down below um, what you guys think. And, you know, uh, we'll have a conversation down in the chat because that's what this is all about. Um, just really cool. Very cool. Um, this is this is one of those dual carts where I'm like, you know what? You know, I, I'm into these kind of games. You know, like it's, uh, Symphony of the Night is one of my favorite games of all time. 
Um, and this definitely kind of scratches those like explo you know, exploration platformer um, action RPG ish kind of itch uh, here. So I'm, I'm definitely in on this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, looking forward to playing some more, but I, I must, I must warn folks that is, are looking for like more like right away. That probably isn't going to happen too much because there's so many other little games that I want to play and, and, you know, share with you guys and share thoughts with these games are like an adventure series. If I decide to play cathedral or play Alma's just like I decide one day, maybe I'm going to be playing uh, brave battle saga and Canon. I'm going straight to uh, golden ax warrior territory with that one. And that's going to be a series. I'm just going to start playing straight through the game. Um, again, let me know down below if you want to see some of that. Um, but I, I, I'm probably just going to do it anyway because I want to play these games. And if I'm going to, I might as well hang out with you when I'm doing it, right? So that is that. The fun is found. Very exciting. Very exciting to be actually <clears> – <throat> I'm caught up. That's card 27. I don't have a card 28. So there you go. That's it. No more, no more of these collections. And tomorrow we're going to be getting into some C64. If I have the time to do it, this might be like one of those things where uh, now I got to play C64 collection games on the handheld until I can, you know, get enough time uh, to do the recording. I'll probably have to get that done in, I don't know, maybe Thursday afternoon. Maybe it'll be late. It might be a little late. If it is, whatever. If not, whatever. If I break in with breaking news because I get my shipment, maybe that'll be Thursday's vid. We'll do that one, do C64 on Friday. Who knows? All I do know is this one is done. I'm glad I've done it. And again, I'm glad you guys are hanging out watching. So if the, all that being said, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Team RTSC.BakeItIceCream.com